It is summer in the city, as the song says, and uh, what a great day that we have here in South Louisville. And I must say, a long await for something as cool as what we have here today. We certainly have come a long way, baby. Just think how many years our previous splash pad had not worked. No restroom. And how about this water fountain, Councilwoman Butler, huh? Huh? Yay! Yay. <laughs> what do you think? So, uh, but none of this could have happened without a great team and great leadership. So a couple quick plugs. First for our director, Sevi Ghost. Yeah, that's right, you can clap. It's certainly been a quick two years, sir. Quick two years. Mr. Jason Canuel, the assistant director. He's the chief engineer, bottle wash, and so much more at Parks and Recreation. But I'm going to tell you, the truly unsung heroes are standing kind of behind him. With the other Jason, David, Vincata, David Shookard, these guys really did the heavy lifting and deserve a big round of applause, guys. <laughs> David Shookard's part of that group as well. And off from operations, Ken Parker, where's Big A? I saw him earlier. There's Big A bringing you the daily work that makes this all possible. And then I saw Ben Johnson over there. He's got a cool treat and some tasty eats for us all when we get done. Not yet. Not yet, Ben. We'll, once they find out there's snow cones available, then we'll, we'll clap for you. Ben did bring the snow cones today, okay? Um, okay, John, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. It's hot, so I'll get back to being uh, brief. Mm. But I'd be remiss if I did not thank David Construction. These guys are absolutely the best. You often hear me comment about uh, the certain planes that fly overhead, about how they deliver to the community. Well, David Construction, on their own, came back, looked at the work that they had done, and said, this is not good enough for us. This is not good enough for our standards. And they came back and redid all of the concrete. When their subcontractor had not fulfilled what they needed to do, they came back and finished the restroom. They didn't, they didn't whine. They didn't complain. And so Alan Kazmierczak? Alan? All right, a big hand for Alan, who owns it. I'm saying when, when they say they own it, they own it. Thank you. And, and David is out for a month, so uh, hopefully he's somewhere where it's a little bit cooler than it is here. So now, a man who gets to see it all, because he is truly everywhere. You will not find a more compassionate and caring leader who strives to make Louisville, as we often see, at the top of surveys and studies, a vibrant city, a vibrant man, our mayor, Mr. Greg Fisher. Hit it, Robert. Oh, Marty. It's a hot day, and so we all want to get these kids so that you guys can freshen off over here. But, I mean, although on a hot day like this, has anybody ever been excited, you know, when they think they're going to jump in the pool, when they're going to the spray ground and how it's going to feel? You ever feel that way? Does everybody remember how that felt the first time? felt pretty good. Well, that's what this is all about here today. I'm just proud of our Parks Department and all of the wonderful work that they do every day, 365 in our community. It is a big job with the size of the park system that we have here in Louisville, and these guys do a wonderful, wonderful job. So I want to thank Sevy and Marty and Jason and the whole team for this project and all the projects that we've got going on here around town. And to make these things happen, people got to work together. It works with good council folks. Councilwoman Marianne Butler is back here. She knows the importance of parks, and she willingly says this is where she's going to funnel a lot of her money in here to make our neighborhood stronger through our great parks, and I'm very appreciative of that. This park also was helped out by federal money, and the reason why I mention that, it came through something called our Community Development Block Grants, grants also known as CDBG. That, if it sounds technical, I'm bringing it up for a reason, because under President Trump's proposed budget, he drastically reduces CDBG funds to cities. Okay, so if you care about projects like this, if you care about affordable housing in the community, we want to maintain our CDBG money that comes from the federal government. And let's all remember, that's our money that we send to Washington and comes back to our communities again. So if you like projects like this and you like projects that are, go in areas of our community that need the help, fight for CDBG money. Uh, Gabe Fritz does that. Gabe's here. Our, he's our director of housing and community development. He lives a life of knowing the importance of CDBG. So let's hear it for our CDBG money that we get back to help us build this. Let's keep it coming. Yes, sir. Now, when you add these 15 spray grounds to 16 spray pads that already exist in the city, we now have four, more than 30 opportunities for 
kids to cool off. And of course, then we also have our four outdoor pools and then the indoor Mary T. Maher Auditorium. Our four outdoor pools, they're going to be open for another week through August the 5th, a week longer than what they were going to. So if you want to be hitting one of our pools, be sure to get out there and get that again. Now, last thing is I just want to say thank you to the mayor, Mayor Houston Quinn. He was mayor from 1921 to 1925. So that was almost 100 years ago. And he's hopefully smiling somewhere saying, you know, he probably, if he was like me, he worked hard and he did his best. So at least we can do his name a park after him. So I appreciate Mayor Quinn. I appreciate everybody coming out today. Thank you all. He is the man. <laughs> I did get the message, and John keeps texting me to tell me to speed up. But, uh, you know, when you're here celebrating something like this, this you know, you got to take a little bit of time. So if he's the man, the next speaker is definitely the lady and probably could be considered from the first family of the South End. From her father, Denver, to what he meant to South Louisville as an alderman and later a state rep. I can remember working with him around 1980 to make improvements at Iroquois Golf Course. We needed an irrigation system. Funny that we're celebrating water again here today. He found the funds to do that. Then Bermuda grass, and then, uh, then helped with the clubhouse to her brother, to her brothers that were LMPD. So you can say that the family knows service to the community. And just like her father, she knows where to find money and funds to make these changes possible. And as I believe Tom Jones said it best, Robert? She's a Thank you, but uh, I really need to thank the neighborhood. Wilder Park has been so patient through this whole thing. Uh, when the the first one wasn't working and we fixed it and it broke again, and, and then you were patient when I said, it's coming, it's coming. And then I have to thank Marty and Jason because you all got almost weekly emails and texts from me saying, what's going on, where is it? Um, so I really, really thank you for your patience and, and you guys. And this is a fabulous thing. Uh, like the mayor said, this was built with CDBG dollars. And if you like things like this and things that we've been doing over at Wandot Park and the old Jacobs School, all of that's part of those federal dollars. Let uh, your congressmen and your senators and the president know because we need to keep this funding coming back to us. Thank you very much. I believe this now makes three in your district. Wyandotte, Iroquois, now here. Keep it up, keep it up. Now we have a true fighter for our community, much like our great hero, Muhammad Ali. He continues to fight for federal and state funding. You heard Mayor Fisher talk about it because he wants to help bring equality to our community. If you don't know him, please introduce yourself because Gabe Fritz is a true positive community activist making our city a great place to live, work and play. Let's give it up for Housing and Community Development Director, Mr. Gabe Fritz. Thank you, Mark. I didn't know I was going to get a song, too. I really appreciate that. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Gabe Fritz. I'm the Director of the Office of Housing and Community Development, and, and thanks for the opportunity to be here today um, as we celebrate these valuable additions and improvements to Houston Quinn Park. Uh, having grown up not far from here, it's, it's great to be back in this neighborhood and it's great to be back at this park today. Um, the work that has been completed here provides neighborhood children an enhanced playground experience. Uh, the, the spray ground is perfect on a day like this and uh, the restrooms make this park a lot more uh, user friendly and convenient. This investment, as the mayor discussed, of community development block grant funds which are federal funds administered by our office, support the improvement of public facilities, uh, streetscape and infrastructure improvements, home repairs, business loans, and more across Metro Louisville. So it's important to acknowledge the Department of Housing and Urban Development, which allocates these critically important and valuable funds to make investments like these park improvements possible. I think it's been less than a year since we were here celebrating a groundbreaking, um, and, and I stuck around that day to play some basketball. I think today I may just run through the spray ground instead um, before I head back to the office. Um, but I'd like to close and just say that I hope that 
that we all hope that these improved facilities encourage more families and folks around the neighborhood to enjoy and use this neighborhood park. Thank you all so much for being here today. All right, now the moment we've all been waiting for. If there, if there aren't any questions, then we are going to uh, make a big splash. So uh, let's uh, walk on over and hit it, Robert. A little walking music, sir. This has been a Metro TV production, a public service of Louisville Metro Government.